Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. If we're just meeting, my name is Woody and this is our series on the seven habits of highly effective people. We're diving into habit three today, which is put first things first. So this is where the rubber meets the road. Stephen Covey says, cool, you've got a vision now. Time to act on it, but don't get caught up in the junk. Here's the deal. Everyone has to-do lists, schedules, deadlines, buyers to put out. Life is basically one giant distraction factory. Habit three, it's about getting your priorities straight and executing on what actually matters. No more letting your day get hijacked by emails, pointless meetings, or someone else's crisis du jour. Steven talks about two types of tasks, urgent tasks and important tasks. They're not the same, though they often feel like it. Urgent stuff, that's the ringing phone, the deadline tomorrow, the problem that just popped out of nowhere. Now, important stuff, that's the long-term goals, the things that align with your mission statement from habit two, and the things that really move the needle on your life. Now, here's the thing. Most people spend their time on what's urgent, but not on what's important. They're trapped in what Stephen calls quadrant one, urgent and important, and quadrant three, urgent but not important. They're constantly reacting, putting out fires, handling someone else's emergencies, exhausting, right? And you know what gets neglected? The important stuff that isn't on fire yet. All that stuff lives inside of quadrant two. That's where the magic happens. That's where long-term success lives. Quadrant two tasks do not scream for your attention. They sit quietly in the background. Things like planning, exercising, relationship building, personal development. But these are the things that, if ignored, will eventually light your whole life on fire then you're back in crisis mode. You see the cycle here? Now, putting first things first is about living in quadrant two. It's about being proactive. Hello, habit one, and acting on your vision. Yep, habit two again. It's saying no to distractions, no to the noise, the unnecessary obligations, the shiny things that suck up your time but don't push you forward. Easier said than done, right? Well, Stephen gives you a tool, the weekly schedule, don't just react to your day, plan it, block off time for the important stuff before everything else crowds in. And here's the big one. Learn to say no. If it's not aligned with your goals, your values, and your vision, it's got to go. I mean, you can do anything, but you can't do everything. But here's where things get deep. This habit isn't just about time management. It's about self-management. It's about discipline. It's about leading your life instead of letting life lead you. It's about choosing the meaningful over the trivial, the long-term over the short-term, every single day. At its core, habit three is the realization that if you don't prioritize your life, someone else will. So put first things first. Protect your time like it's gold, because it is. And just a side note, I co-wrote a song with a band called The Crooked Vines. The name of the song is called Who To Be, and I will link that in the description below, but it is all about setting your own priorities before somebody else sets them for you. If you want to check that out, it is linked in the description below, and we're going to continue with habit four in this video right here. So go ahead and click on that. 